Hello everyone, welcome to Formula Story. Today I am going to be discussing a method which will help us in solving quadratic equations of any type in just 3 seconds. So let's begin. Now as we all know that the general form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now for this method all you got to do is remember this table that when the sign in between is this, what will be the sign of the roots? Suppose the sign in between is plus plus, that is the sign here is plus and the sign here is also plus then the sign of our roots will be minus minus when the sign is sign in between is minus plus the sign of our roots will be plus plus when the sign in between is plus minus that is plus here and minus here the sign of our roots will be minus plus and when the sign in between is minus minus the sign of our roots will be plus minus I'll highly recommend to remember this table and then it'll be really convenient to solve quadratic equation let's take this example suppose if you have to find uh, the, if, if you have to solve this quadratic equation 2x square plus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 then the sign in between is plus plus and see first thing to focus is what is the product it's 3 into 2 6 right so now we need to find the factors of 6 which gives us sum of 5 right that that what we generally do for a quadratic equation so uh, the factors of 6 which will give us sum of 5 will be 2 comma 3 right now since the sign in between is plus and plus the sign of our roots will be minus minus okay so minus 2 and minus 3 and one last step is you divide by the coefficient of x square which is 2 this divide by 2 this divide by 2 so our final roots will be minus 1 comma minus 3 by 2 just one thing to remember in this method is always keep the coefficient of x square positive when you are solving the quadratic equation. Let's look at some more example to clarify the concept better. Now one thing to note here in this table is when the sign in between is plus minus that is plus here and minus here the sign of our roots is minus plus. When the sign in between is minus minus the sign of our roots is plus minus. Now, one confusion that we might have is which root will have a negative sign here and which root will have a positive sign here. Same thing is here also. So, in this case, plus and minus case, the negative sign will be with the root which has a greater modulus value out of the two roots. And in this case, minus minus, the negative sign will be with the root which has a lesser modulus value. Let me clarify this with this example. Suppose our quadratic equation is 6x square plus 7x minus 5 is equal to 0. First thing that we do is find the product which is 5 into 6, 30 and the sum which is 7. So how can we get the product 30 by using a sum of 7? We can use 10, 3. After that, we divide by the coefficient of x square which is 6, 10 by 6, 3 by 6. Okay. Now, since the sign in between is plus and minus, plus and minus the sign of our roots will be minus and plus so as i said in this case the negative sign will be with the root which has a greater modulus value the greater modulus value is 10 by 6 so negative sign will be here and positive sign will be here so our final roots will be minus 5 by 3 comma half so again i'll repeat when the sign in between is plus and minus plus your minus your the sign of our roots will be minus plus and the negative sign will be the, with the root having greater modulus value, greater magnitude. When the sign, is be, sign in between is minus minus, minus here and minus here, the negative sign will be with the root having lesser of the modulus value. So let's look at another example. Now suppose the equation is 6x square minus x minus 5 is equal to 0. First thing that we do is we find the product which is 6 into 5 30 and we have to get the sum as 1 which can be done by using uh, 6 comma 5 right then we divide by the coefficient of x square never forget this step we divide by the coefficient of x square which is 6 so we divide by 6 here and we divide by 6 here now since the sign in between is minus minus the sign of our roots will be plus minus now as I said in the previous example in this case minus will come with the root which has a lesser modulus value 
Now the lesser of the value is uh, 5 by 6, right? Because 6 by 6 is 1 and 5 by 6 is lesser than 1. So negative sign will come here and this will be positive. So our answer will be the two roots are plus 1, comma, minus 5 by 6. So all you got to do is remember this table and after that you just have to find the product then the sum and write down that value then divide that by the coefficient of x square and then depending on the sign in between you find the sign of the roots and that's it as simple as that and once you remember this table finding the roots of a quadratic equation will be a matter of seconds and you'll be able to do it really fast so let's look at one last example now suppose if we have to solve this equa quadratic equation 6x square minus 17x plus 11 is equal to 0 First thing we do is find the product which is 66, 11 into 6 and the sum which is 17. So we can get the sum of 17 by using 6, 11. Then we divide both the roots by the coefficient of x square which is 6. Never forget this step. We divide by the coefficient of x square which is 6. And then we see this table. The sign in between is minus here and plus here. And the sign in between is minus and plus. The sign of our roots is plus and plus. So it will remain the same. So our roots are 1, 11 by 6. As simple as that. So in this method, all you got to do is remember this table and a few minor cliches are there when the sign in between is plus minus and minus minus. When the sign in between is plus minus, as I said, the negative sign will be with the root having a greater modulus value. And when the sign in between is minus minus, the negative sign will be with the root having lesser modulus value. So that's it people, I will come up with more interesting videos, till then do like my video and subscribe to my channel and also post a valuable feedback so that I can improve at my upcoming videos. Thank you.